In this video, we are going to see the basic things of IC4017. It is 16 pin IC, it has 11 output, 3 control pin and 2 power pin. Pin number 8 is ground and pin number 16 is plus VCC. We can supply from plus 3 volt to plus 18 volt. Pin number 1 to 7 and 9 to 12 are the output pin. It is the first output that is Q0 and to the last output it is Q9. From Q0 to Q9 it will active one after another. The output pin 12 is it is divided by 10 or you can say it is carry out. We can use this pin for some application. Pin number 14 it is clock input. Pin number 13 is clock enable and it is active low pin so to active the clock pin we have to connect this pin number 13 to the ground and pin number 15 is reset pin again i am drawing the ic4017 now we will see the practical diagram for this and we will see it practically on the breadboard as we know pin number 16 is plus vcc pin and i lose plus 5 volt. Pin number 8 is ground pin. These are 10 outputs. We generally use these 10 outputs. So we will connect LEDs in this. All the anode pin of the LEDs will be connected to the IC and all the cathode pin are connected together. And with this we will connect a resistor and then it will be connected to the ground. The value of the resistor is 220 ohms. If your power supply is 12 volt then you have to connect 470 ohms or 560 ohms. The resistor value will be depend on your supply volt. And also we will see pin number 12 how it can divide by 10. So with this also we will connect an LED. So this power pin and the outputs. Pin number 14 is clock input and we will provide clock pulse through a push button switch and other side of the push button switch will be connected to the plus 5 volt and with the switch we will connect a capacitor the value is 10 nanofarad or 0 0.01 microfarad these both are same to enable the clock pin we have to connect the pin number 13 to the ground and we will see the functions of pin number 15 it is reset pin now I am not connecting it to anywhere and one more thing, we have to connect pull down resistor to the clock pin. The value of the pull down resistor is 10 kilo ohms. I already uploaded a video on pull down resistor that why should we use the pull down resistor. Link in the description below. Ok, so we will see this circuit on the breadboard. Here it is IC4017. Pin number 16 is connected to the plus 5 volt and pin number 8 is connected to the ground. Here it is push button switch. With this I will provide clock pulse. Capacitor is connected. It is for debouncing the switch. One pin of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt. And other pin will be connected to the pin number 14. With this pin number 14 I am connecting the pull down resistor. Connecting all the 10 LEDs. Negative pin of the LED is connected to the negative rail. As we have to connect the 220 ohms resistor with all the cathode pin. So this is the resistor, it will be connected to the negative rail, both the negative and positive rails are connected, here is pin 3, first LED and like this we have to connect them all. This 10 output is connected to the 10 LEDs and we will see the functions of pin number 12 after discussing this. Now I am connecting plus 5 volt, here is negative and this positive. I have changed the push button switch because that switch is not good. Ok, now if I press this, the LEDs are not moving. It is because pin number 13, clock enable pin is disconnected from the ground. As a result, the clock pin is not working or clock pin is deactivated. So we have to connect pin number 13 to the ground. That is pin number 13. 
and it is connected to the ground. Still the clock pin is not working. The clock pin is activated but pin number 15 is not connected to the ground or any other output pins. As a result pin number 15 is resetting the IC. Every time the output of the IC again and again coming to the Q0. So now I am connecting the pin 15 to the ground. Now if I press the this switch now the switch is working or clock pin is working ok so this is how this IC work and it is the basic application now let's say you want to glow the LED from first LED to the fourth LED that is you want Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Q3 is pin 7 so you have to connect pin number 15 to the Q4 that is you have to connect pin 15 to pin 10. Now this is pin 15 and I am connecting this to pin 10. Now it will glow from 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is how the pin number 15 works. When the output is activated up to Q3 and then if you pressed the switch it wants to go Q4 but the pin 15 or the reset pin is resetting the IC that's why it is coming back to the Q0. If you want up to 8 then you have to connect with this. I am connecting it here itself. It will glow up to this. Now it is very clear. If you remove the pin number 15 and you are not going to connect anywhere, it will reset. Now the pin number 15 is not connecting to anywhere so every time this IC get resetted. Sometime it wants to go but the IC is resetted. So I am connecting the pin 15 to the ground. Now it will glow up to 10. So we have seen the functions of pin 13 and pin 15. Now we will see the functions of pin 12. For that we are connecting one LED with pin 12. The negative pin of the LED is connected to the negative rail with this 220 ohms and this will be connected to the pin 12. Now how it is divided by 10 or carry out we will see this. Now this LED is glowing that means pin 12 is activated. See carefully up to this. Now if I press the LED will turn off. Ok. So the second half the pin 12 is deactivated. It is again activated, deactivated, activated, deactivated. It means if we want to get a pulse from pin number 12 then we have to provide 10 pulses or 10 clock pulse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and again 10. 10 pulse we are getting 1 pulse. This carry out pin or pin 12 will be connected to the next 4017 or any other IC if you want to divide the input frequency by 10. The every output can divide it by 10 but it has 10% of duty cycle each of the output but it has 50% of duty cycle. The 50% is activated and other 50% is deactivated. So this is the function of pin number 12. So this is all about the basic things of 4017. In the next video we will discuss on how to cascade this 4017 IC.
till then stay happy and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching